Hey guys, it is a good time to be alive. I feel this rush of nostalgia just coming back from Dragon Ball Z Resurrection yep. F. It is like the fucking 90s again. I feel like I'm I'm, I'm a kid again. I'm watching Dragon Ball Z every on Saturday tsunami. on, on tsunami, fucking Toonami. Yeah. And it is Dragon Ball Z is as good as it's ever been, as best as it's ever been, maybe even better than, than it was way back in the day. Uh, as you can tell, I'm glowing. I fucking loved Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, as many of you predicted that I would. You, you guys said it was an awesome movie, and it freaking was. So, I will we'll take this opportunity uh, to review it. We're going to try to keep it spoiler-free and then talk a ton of spoilers in the spoiler section because we can definitely get into a lot of DBZ lore. Um, but in order to uh, sum up this one, uh, basically, uh, Frieza is back from the dead a third time. <laughs> uh, first, uh, the first time he was a robot, got slashed into a million pieces by Trunks relatively easily. Uh, this time he is resurrected through the use of the Dragon Balls and it's up to uh, Goku and Vegeta and the rest of the Z fighters uh, to prevent the destruction of Earth and save their lives once again so obviously a story that we have seen many times already That's in true. Dragon Ball Z but somehow this movie is firing on all cylinders it's got action it has got insane it amounts does. of comedy like I didn't expect to laugh so much it probably helped that when I was in the theater we were with like nothing but hardcore DBZ fans That's true. and everybody was just enjoying the hell out of it just orgasmic we dressed up I think we should have dressed up we should have dressed up I should have at least brought we had the costumes like fucking scouters you know we scouters. had the costumes I have fucking scouters you do um, and I don't want to run and get them right now, but basically, um, uh, what did you guys think of, of the film? I thought it was great. I, uh, I thought it was really, I, you know, honestly, a lot of people go and they watch the Japanese versions, which have their own voice actors, they have their own feel, but it's evolved to the point with the American uh, voice actors that they have their own feel and it's good. It's not a bad thing. And they've just evolved more and better over the years and it's, they're spot on. They're they're. It's like watching two different entire movies, and it's great because you got the the perks of the American voice acting. Yeah, and then you I want to go and see it in Japanese. It's good. Now. It's really. I want to see the 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 original version now because there's there's always some slight yeah. variations in the jokes and things like that. Uh, the for Battle of the Gods, I I saw it in reverse. This time, I want to see uh, now that I've seen the American voice actors, uh, I want to see the Japanese. Joe, what did you think? I really enjoyed this film. It was like a light-hearted adventure. Great yeah. comedy. I laughed yeah, so much. Right. It's just... And it's brought back so much like nostalgia. I was like, Perfect. It's almost like a great. reunion film. This is great. The film is self-aware of itself yes. about how many times Frieza has come back from the dead. Yeah. I love how they make so many self-deprecating jokes yeah, they do. They, they, about how ridiculous power levels are and how ridiculous it is to call these different forms different things. Frieza's just like, fuck it. I'm just going to call this form Golden Frieza to make it easy for you, you know yeah, that kind much. of stuff, and uh, I had a smile like the entire time. year to year, the entire time. Yep, the entire it, time. It, it is rare for a movie to hold my attention that long. Now, obviously, we're huge DBZ fans, so we'll, we do we do need to discuss and, and critique the movie as any movie. So please don't get all super angry at the fact that we bring up some of the film's weaknesses. Um, but uh, we wanted to spend a good amount of time praising the film. Uh, yep. For example, the D the Z fighters, some of the lesser Z fighters, definitely get their time to shine. Yep. Uh, Krillin has many scenes all his own. Uh, uh, Tien <laughs> gets yeah. some freaking scenes. Some of the lower level Z fighters, including Gohan, who's not really lower level, he was the best of, of all of those, yeah. um, do fight and have a, a great amount of screen time fighting the uh, uh, Frieza's uh, soldiers, yeah. of which they brought uh, 1,000 or more. Um, we also uh, saw a new character. Well, I don't want to say 
they knew because he seemed like, it seemed like Bulma knew who this intergalactic space cop was. He was a fantastic addition to the, the cast yeah. and the roster. I don't, I, I mean, I've seen a lot of DBZ and I, I don't remember him. I'm not recalling him. He's possibly in one of the reunion movies, but at least they acted as if he was an intergalactic police officer who had met Bulma before and he joins the Z Fighters and they're like, okay, uh, he uh, warns them of Frieza's impending return and then he tries to like take off and Bulma's like, what the hell? You're a cop. Yeah, need to go, You're man. supposed to help us. Are you not going to help us? He's like, all right, fine. I'll take some of the lower level, you know, Frieza soldiers, but that's it. <laughs> and then once, obviously, once the climax comes around, you, you see him sort of, you know, like start to walk away. Like, I don't want to be <laughs> Try to get out of here anymore. for this final Frieza fight. So oh, just such a great amount of... Uh, I'll watch it again. I, I do. Yeah, I like, watch it again. Immediately. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense because it was so much fun. Um, the, the characters are spot on. Nobody acts, uh, you know, wildly or differently from how you expect them to act. The characters nope. are true to their originals. Uh, the voice acting is well done. Even the music. I felt was was superior and, and well done. They, I think, and I tried to SoundCloud as I was there. I did manage to SoundCloud it, but it was all in Japanese letters, and I, I recognized one letter F. <laughs> and this yeah. was during yeah when Frieza was coming when back. When Frieza was coming I liked back, that song too. I was like, man, I hope. I you hope it. you yeah, hope I, I was it. sound clouding that. Yeah, so we'll figure that I out. I did. Later. We'll we figure did. That later. We'll and call no, I've got song. it saved, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> yeah, uh, enter like, in Japanese. I was like, game. hopefully he's getting the song because I like this song. Um, yeah, it's really hard uh, to talk about the film without spoiling it all because yeah. it literally boom gets straight into yeah. the action. Uh, oh, they don't leave a whole lot of time. In fact, Frieza just goes straight up to his golden level uh, almost immediately after just leveling up to his you know perfect form or not that cell uh, but his highest level form um, you know the sleek bold uh, Frieza so um, there are just so many scenes it's the pacing in the film was yeah. mwah, so it was perfect good. It was good. between comedy, between training, between battles, between uh, you know sort of intermissions and jokes in between. I can't stop glowing and gushing about the film. It was a good movie, yeah. It was a great fucking film. The worst part about it, unfortunately, is it's a limited release. Yep. I want this shit in all theaters. I want it to be a wide release so It'll that work. I can tell you in this review, go out and see it in theaters. If it's next but, to you, just go. But just by the go. time this review comes out, I don't know. You may have you may have like one or two days to see it. So if you have an opportunity to see it in theaters, Please go out and see it. I can guarantee that you'll have a good time if you're a DBZ fan. If you're not a DBZ fan, you might be a little lost on who these characters are. But I, but I can still guarantee the laughs are there. It, it, it is um, just a, a, a light-hearted reunion film. It's a fun movie. And the animation is fucking fantastic. A lot better, unfortunately, uh, I, I must say, than DBZ Super. Yep. which is starting to concern me lately with its animation quality. I'll put up some pictures that some people have been sharing with me. It's, it's, that's, no, oh, it hurts. Heard, oh, heard. Heard. oh, it, what is that? What is that on the screen? It's, that's it's, bad? It's, yes, that's, that's bad. bad, dude. Well, you have to understand that anime schedules for a TV show are a lot different than putting a lot of time and effort into a movie like this, but still, there are, there are Japanese animation yeah. shows that still manage to hit a high level of quality for each episode so it's a little depressing hopefully dbz super comes back in because it started off fantastic yeah, the animation was great really so everybody's complaining about the animation but let's not be unrealistic the first four or five episodes was great it's this fifth and sixth episodes that that are concerning us hopefully it can go back and and uh, the only dis uh the a disappointment about DBZ Super, and all of a sudden we've turned this into a super discussion. We're <laughs> we're gonna pack it all yeah. in here. Yeah, why not? Um, is that it, it's just retelling Battle of the Gods movie, and it's retell it's gonna retell Resurrection F, the movie we just saw that we love. It's gonna retell those things. So the first you know season or two sagas, I'm. I'm it's still going to watch it, but it's like, damn, I wish I could be watching original shit from right here. Yeah. But it's because they are picking up from uh, after defeating Majin Buu. Uh, and then in the future, they will do a new saga already announced, going to Universe 6. And that's when that's we can start to uh, uh, go into it. Okay, so you've heard all the positives. Let's talk a little bit about what can hold the film back or some negatives. Let's start with Del. Um, I think 
they could have, even though they were trying to make fun of themselves in the movie, they could have come up with a better plot device or reworked it somewhat than, let's do the same shit nine times, yeah, yeah. ten times. <laughs> And it's I, like, it, you have to admit yeah. out, out there that this is the same plot line that we've seen a hundred times where it's just Goku fights Frieza. That's that's all it is. Oh, this movie got, is Goku yeah. fights Frieza. And they got a new form. It's like Super Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God. It's like, come on, guys. No, 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 no. no. There's no new form in this no, movie. No, no, no. I mean, but I mean, they're up to like that sort of ridiculous name. Like, uh, yeah. he's, he's at like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. No, I don't think that that was ever announced in this movie. I think that's going to be in the series. Where does Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan come from? I I don't know. I, I know Super Saiyan yeah. God. Super Saiyan God was red. Oh, that's yeah. right. And then the blue is it Super, is Saiyan, Super, God, Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Yeah, I kind of wanted to find out. But they out. never made it by name no. in there. And so he just says, you know, this is my God, my Super Saiyan God form. So I'm glad they left out that ridiculous yeah. fucking name because I wish they would have made a cooler name. What would you say, Joe? Like, I wanted to find out. Like, he's like, well, how did... How did that come about? And he's like, mm -hmm. oh, it's a story. It's too long. I'm not gonna tell you. I, like, I kind of wanted to know about that. <laughs> so that was one thing. And so you're also... right. They they do reach a new form. I don't know what I was thinking because of the other because the blue hair now versus the red hair in the yeah. previous movie. But they've achieved that. I just felt like um, the story was not not lacking because they did it about as perfectly yeah, as they, they possibly could. Uh, the fighting, the characters, the animation, everything. But you do have to acknowledge that this is a story that we've seen before and it, and it has less impact than it did the first time around or the second time around. I guess the other thing is like, in the entire movie, I never felt that impending doom or anything at yeah, all. That's what Joe was saying. Like, Joe was ever like, did I ever yeah, feel like, oh, no, they're going to lose. Like, that's what I thought too. Like, there's no tension. These guys are just going to be pretty much, it's going to be an epic fight. I didn't feel like no. There's, you see, you saw Beerus and Wiz there. About. You saw Beerus and Wiz there the whole time. Joe, did you ever feel like if things got way out of control that I those two? I knew it. I knew it yeah, whenever exactly. they were first training. When they were first training, it was like, oh, uh, don't worry. If he accidentally, if he accidentally makes a mistake, oh, he blows foreshadowing, up, right? He blows the, up an Earth or whatever. We learn new Wiz, uh, Wiz's new ability uh, that he hadn't mentioned before that he can manipulate time. So yeah. that is foreshadowing. We'll talk a little bit more about the spoilers yeah. there. So right when they announced that at the beginning, you you know as a as, like, a, as a fan that this is yeah, something is gonna come and play into that later. But. I was thankful that the movie did do some things that DBZ doesn't normally do. Uh, number one, um, I don't know if I should, I should say, we'll save that for the spoilers. Yeah, yeah we have like, to save so that much, for this. Like, there's so, there's so much in the movie that we need to talk in the spoil in the spoilers. So basically, the movie is uh, great pacing, uh, writing is funny as hell, in including tons of action scenes. Even the lower level Z fighters get yeah. their time to shine. The higher level Z fighters get their time to shine. Vegeta uh, goes it it is now we can tell he's at the same level of Goku is and, and took uh, him, gets took his. Took him like 700 episodes, but he got there. <laughs> he he's, got there. he's there now. I love the fact that he surpassed. Goku uh, for a brief moment because uh, Vegeta is my favorite DBZ yeah. character uh, in the previous movie Battle of the Gods um, and and in here you can see that they're both at the same level and they take a little bit of time to explore the idea that if Goku and Vegeta actually would work together and team up and would and, and would synchronize not 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 to combine not fusion, not but not fusion but just force. they would be an unstoppable force possibly capable of taking on Beerus himself. Yep. Wiz, I don't know, because Wiz is this character that I still have no idea. Is he more powerful than Beerus? Yes, yeah, yeah, it, it seems, it seems, like, he it seems but, like he is. But I like that mystery. <laughs> yeah. What if Beerus gets really pissed off? It's like, obviously, the Galactic Council or the, 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 the fate of the universe made Beerus the deity and not Wiz the deity, so there has to be some reason for that. I love that intrigue. And I, and I love the food storyline. So there was lots of uh, side storylines yeah. in the movie. Can you think of any that you particularly liked? I just like the fact that uh, they they just the entire time there's like death and destruction, but they always keep the characters like Beerus and Whis just always to the point where they're like, we just want to eat food. We don't even care. <laughs> they we don't care about anything else. We haven't killed you because you have ice cream. 
They carry that over yeah. from the sequel. They carried over how Trunks has a girlfriend. They carry over a lot of these funny jokes from the uh, yeah. Battle of the Gods movie to this movie. Okay, so I think that's enough. A relatively short review. We'll talk a, a lot about it in uh, the spoilers. So let's do some some final verdicts. Um, uh, go ahead and uh, and let's start with other Joe. Well, for this one, I'm gonna have to give it. Which we can't do. I'm gonna do a nine. Nine, Nine out of ten. I want to go watch it again. You're a huge, huge yeah. fan. Yeah. Of the like, I was smiling the entire time. The, obviously, the impending doom kind of knocked it down a bit, but still, I still like the action and everything, so I'm going to go with the nine. Yeah. Woo! Boy, that's, that's really starting to affect it. a little bit of my rating because I was... Okay, go. Let's let, 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 do that. All right, let, I got to go bring it down. So, DBZ to me, one of the biggest things I remember when I was a kid was that you got to have that impending doom. You have to feel like they're overcoming a hurdle. Right. And that's just like the whole thing of the entire series. And you didn't feel There's that a hurdle well. yeah, they have no. to overcome. Like with Majin Buu, they had to fuse. With Frieza, Goku had to like go Super Saiyan for the first time. You know, all this crazy stuff. They never had that hurdle. Mm -hmm. So even though the animation quality and the comedy and everything was really up there, I felt that it wasn't really a movie that hit the point where you feel like, yes, they did it. So I got to give it an 8 because it's better than a lot of the other movies, but it never hit that hurdle where I was like, yes, they fucking won because the entire time I was like, they're going to win. Because yeah, even like yeah. the entire time they're like, we're so cocky, we got this guy. <laughs> Vegeta's just going to sit there the entire time. Right, right. And it's like, you never get that hurdle. So it's definitely an 8. In my book, it's yeah. an 8. It's a strong 8. Okay, well, that reaffirmed my rating. My final rating is going to be an 8 out of 10. I freaking loved it, but it is the highest 8 out of 10 I can give yeah. with a badass seal of approval, meaning if you go out and see it, you're going to be entertained. Even if you're not a huge DBZ fan, there's enough jokes and side characters to keep you entertained yeah. um, and some badass animation. So, yes, it is an 8, and for that almost exact same reason that we've seen Frieza before, even though he's, you can tell at the beginning of the movie they have this great up. Uh, yeah. pre-show for fans and I just really enjoyed that you got to meet some of the voice actors you got to meet Frieza's voice actor and they were really playing up how important Frieza was in the in the old DBZ, yeah. DBZ and and how awesome of a character he is and I agree completely with all that but you have to understand that this is the third time we've seen him he, he doesn't you know his golden form doesn't scare me no. uh, it, 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 there isn't that sense of impending danger especially when you got Beerus and, and Whis yep. in the picture that, that can you know take care of things if they want to. even though they tried to explain that where it's like I'm the god of destruction do whatever you want you know uh, Frieza I'm not going to stand in the way I may save some of these people because yeah. they keep uh, supplying me with delicious delectable treats <laughs> I love that shit anyways uh, so he's almost like a Goku himself yeah he loves pretty much food. Yeah. Um, so but yeah I felt like that that impending sense of doom wasn't there even though I enjoyed it maximum, I'm going to have to say the Battle of the Gods is that 9 out of 10 for me. And this film is the 8 out of 10. Can you rate Battle of the Gods? Yeah, it was a good 9. 9. Because so you you're, much, you're in agreement. Like, in Battle of the Gods, screw it, I'll spoil it, you know. No, no, no. Battle no, of the Gods, no, no. we're not doing a review on that. No, do not spoil yeah, Battle of the Gods. Just give it a 9 saying. out of 10. It's a 9 because there well, was a bad guy. Well, you can do it guy. in a spoiler section. A bad guy. Let me get, let me no, get you a bad guy. Joe, I, I really 9. No. So Joe, those two movies are at the same level. Me, nine, eight, nine, eight. Yep. That is uh, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. If you have a chance to see it in movies, please go out and support it. Um, I'm just so happy that Dragon Ball Z has had new life injected into it. It feels like it's has been as popular as it's ever been. It's as best as it's ever been. Perhaps better. It's great. And you know what? It doesn't really bother me that these are just straight up fight films. It no. doesn't bother me that it's like, oh, I'm going to a new level. Yes, it's ridiculous. And yes, they've gone to a new level a thousand so million silly. times. But you know what? I keep going to Marvel movies because they're entertaining. They and this movie was entertaining from start to finish. So go out and see Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. You Must. will not regret it. Badass seal of approval. Join us in the spoilers section, or we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye. Yeah.